Hi, so I am talking quietly. I hope you can hear me because this little guy is asleep and we are on day two of training him to sleep on a schedule and knock on wood, my own head tonight is going a whole lot better than last night. Last night we listened to him scream for I think two hours straight and uh, he wasn't the only one crying. Anyway, I thought I would take this opportunity to give you an update on what I've been doing with my planners. I know a bunch of people have left comments for me on various videos and if you happen to see this and you've left a comment that I haven't answered, I will get to it. Um, it's just, I have a newborn and um, it's really busy and having a newborn that is not on a sleep schedule is insanity and exhausting and so I'm hoping to have some sort of a life back now that he is <laughs> going to be on a schedule. At least I know I'll have three one hour periods during the day where he will nap um, or rest or cry that I can do other things <laughs> like this and that he's going to bed at a decent hour so that I have some time in the evening to do something like this. So anyway, um, thanks for sticking with me. So in my last video, I was really excited to show you about a DIY planner that I made out of my ARC notebook system. Actually, it's here in the pile. Since then, um, a few things have happened, and so I just wanted to talk to you about it and give you a little look at what I'm doing because I was going to empty the old weeklies out of my ARC notebook, and I thought I should make a video about this before I do it. So, if you're interested in seeing my original setup, you can check out my last video, and um, it was done in this ARC notebook. Now, for a really long time, I have been going back and forth about wanting a pocket planner, a pocket size planner, and I found some good deals on like a pocket size Malden from Filofax. And as I was using this planner, I started to get bored within like two weeks or something, and three weeks, I don't even know, two or three weeks, and I was already bored with this. And I was like, I want to try a pocket planner. And I was going to buy one of those Maldens. And I thought, no, I'm, why, why would I spend that much money? Even though it was a good deal, it was still a lot of money. And I thought, okay, well, let's just get this bug out of my system. Or maybe I'll really like it. I'll make my own little pocket planner. And um, so I did. <laughs> so this was the first one I made. And you can see I made it in September something. And um, I tried to fill it out a little bit and how I would maybe use it and this was just some printables that I found somewhere and it's very cute I just did it with the arc notebook system I printed them out I cut them and I put them in I punched them and put them on discs they're all different kinds I don't even remember where I got all of these from this is not a usable thing because it needs a cover it's way too loose and the paper needed to be a little thicker I think um, so this was the first version I tried. Now, one Saturday, my mom watched our son for like the whole day and I had some free time and that's when I did all this. <laughs> so I made this one and this was like not, not working. So then I remembered seeing a bunch of these like unicorn clear planners on uh, YouTube that you could buy on Amazon. So I thought, I could experiment with $7 because that's how much this cost and it was like the unicorn whatever shiny iridescent holographic I don't know what it is the unicorn one so on that same day I cut a bunch of inserts and I punched them and um, it's adorable you can see this thing is adorable I don't remember I think these were peanuts planner co inserts for the week it's adorable. And I got some paper and some graph paper. I mean, it's just so stinking cute. I, I love it. But I could not... I, it, I know I try rings over and over again, and sometimes it, it just wasn't working for me. The rings weren't working for me. Then I remembered I have a pocket size or a passport size traveler's notebook. So I busted this bad boy out. And I made myself some little inserts. So I just had some like cardstock paper. And this was actually really hard to do. This was more complicated than I wanted it to be. It involved a lot of taping and things that you can see, but 
um, I just made a little insert for the rest of the year. And this is the one that I actually tried, I think, for a couple of weeks. So I liked it. It's adorable. It's cute. I had a monthly, and then I had weeklies. You can fit a lot of stuff in this, but you have to write really tiny, right? It limits the pens you can use. So I had some weeklies. I didn't have that many. I even printed out, I think these were like some various daily ones. Because I thought, you know, well, if I get really busy and I'm keeping this, then I might need a daily. And then I printed out just a little, like, notebook that had some lined and uh, grid paper and some list paper that I found. I think it was all Peanuts Planner Co. stuff. So this was my little traveler's notebook, and it was adorable. It's adorable, right? I made my little inserts. It's so cute. And, um... I think for somebody that's looking for a pocket size, this would be great. Then, at the same time that I was bored with this, after only a couple weeks, I made these, all these little pocket ones, and I was using this one, had that on my desk, I thought about this. So I have this beautiful Success Choice Planner leather cover, and I have the Uncalendar, which is undated, and I always come back to this thing. So in here, I have my address book, and the end calendar is undated, and so it fits perfectly in this. It, it's like it's made for it. So I had this open. I had three books. I had the big one, the tiny one, and the medium one all open on my desk at once, and I was using all three at once, which was getting very confusing. And um, you can see that this actually keeps you really organized. Um... It's easy to lay things out. It's easy to see things. You have the little grid here. And actually, I would say that if I wasn't going to use the ARC notebook, this would be what I would use because it it really is all-encompassing. It's it's quite nice. So if I ever get tired of the ARC, I am going back to, to this. But as I was sitting there one day looking at all three planners and like getting confused did I write everything I needed to in all three planners as I'm test driving all three of these I thought what is my problem I was so excited about this one and now I'm not what 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 happened in two weeks that it all of a sudden went from being awesome to being something that's not usable let's check on the baby he's doing pretty good oh he's moving he's on the move he's still sleeping though what a good boy so I thought about it and then I realized I had been using the same weekly printables for all of those weeks and I just wasn't really in love with them. They were like the first ones I found and I made this planner in like, you know, 20 minutes one night, late at night. Uh oh, he's kicking. And um, I was, can you hear that? Can you hear him kicking? <laughs> I was, um, you might as well get him while I'm telling you what happened. So I had been using the same printables, the first ones that I found, that I wasn't necessarily in love with. I just found them. And I thought, why am I doing this? Why am I not looking for other things? The whole point of having this DIY notebook was that I could use whatever printables I wanted. And I think I even said in my video, if I get bored, I can try something new. And that's what happens. You know, we get bored or, you know, we keep trying things until we, I don't know. So I thought, okay, <laughs> this was working great. The pocket is way too small. Uncalendar could work, but I was really enjoying this. And I, if I went to the uncalendar, then again, I would have this and that on my desk. And I just wanted all in one thing, right? So I went on the internet and I found a website called Scattered Squirrel. And she has a billion printables, all different sizes, all different styles. And then I started finding all kinds of other printables. And I fell back in love with this and I wanted to show you how it's changed and I want to talk to you about this. So, the first thing that I have is two pocket folders. In the first pocket folder, I keep like um, checks that I've deposited or receipts or things that just need attention, but not necessarily like this second, so I don't have to put it in my weekly section, but I do need to get to it. I have some other things over here, some paperwork I need to deal with, and I keep a book with some information in it. He's moving around. Look at him. Then I usually keep my grocery list in here um, once I've made it. And you can see I have a beautiful envelope back here. This is from my pen pal in New Zealand who I have not written back 
But if you're watching, Melanie, I have your letter. Thank you so much. I did get the book. It was, I was kind of jealous because I don't know why we don't do that. But I will write you back, especially now that the baby is going to be on a sleep schedule. I'll actually have some time to sit and write you back. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> and it was beautiful. I have a couple pages of uh, a notepad in here that I use pretty frequently. And then in my first divider section, I have my calendar. And this is the beauty of the ARC. You can do this however you want. It's just my September tab. I reuse those. Um, I have to say, I went into Staples recently because once I fell back in love with my ARC, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get all new stuff. Well, I don't need to get all new stuff. I need to save my money because instead of getting all of the beautiful new ARC stuff they have, they have so many new covers and they have like planner setups that are fun, kind of like a happy planner. And they have all kinds of little accessories and colorful pocket folders and stuff they never had when I bought all my stuff. My stuff is still good. It's just not as cute as the stuff they have now. But I saved all my money and I bought a photo printer so that I can print pictures of my baby. And now I have a colored printer, which is pretty cool. So when I went to Scattered Squirrel, um, she had a year on a page and I liked that better than the one that I had originally found. So I printed that out and I put that in the front. Then I have my monthlies. I liked her monthlies better. So I printed those out and I just transferred the little bit of information that I had. So I've got my monthly. I also invested in some much better paper, and so my weekly paper and the paper I'm printing on now is a lot better than what I originally had. Um, so this, I, I, one of the nice things is it's that you can empty this out. Like I don't need to save my weeklies for anything, so I just throw them away. So I threw away the first few weeks that I had this planner that I was using it. If you're interested in seeing the original printables I had, you can check out the first video on this one, which is the last one I made. Um, but I threw those away and those were the ones that I just, you know, I got bored with. They weren't my thing. And then I found Scattered Squirrel. So this is one of the layouts that she has that is pretty awesome. So um, you can get Monday and Sunday starts. But anyway, it's just long um, vertical columns that are lined and it goes all the way across. And then there's a column for notes over here and a section for notes at the bottom. And then she has these top three and then she has this grid. And I think that this grid is what makes me like this layout that she has more than any of the other ones that I've tried so far. And this one is the one I keep coming back to. Um, it's really great. So basically my morning, afternoon, evening routine I've listed here and I can just check them off as I go. And there was too many, um, she doesn't have enough lines for what I needed. So I just did a slash. So like you can see some of these are colored halfway. That's because I did, you know, this side, but I didn't do this side or whatever. So I'm going to tear these out because these are really old. These are from September and I don't need them anymore, but I wanted to show them to you. And so with the arc, you can just pull them out. Now, if you have a three ring binder, don't, don't go and spend a bunch of money because the arc stuff is expensive. Um, the punch is expensive. Punch is like $45 or $50 or something. You know, if I hadn't had all of this stuff from years and years ago, um, you can do this in a three ring binder for what, a dollar? I mean, everything is on clearance now because of back to school. I was tempted to get some three ring binders. You can get a three ring hole or a three bind, a three hole punch from Walmart for $2 and 97 cents, not even on special. That's just the regular price. So for the cost of a hole punch for $3, a binder that you may or may not have laying around, but you can definitely get one for like a dollar out there. Um, and some dividers, which may cost you a dollar. Cause like I said, everything around me is on clearance. Um, and they have some really cute stuff. I mean, you could get a really cool little setup for probably $5. <laughs> And then you buy yourself some nice paper and you have a beautiful planner. And it's the same as this because all these printables are letter size or eight and a half by 11. And that's one thing that's really awesome. There's no cutting down anything. So when I was making all these little planners, I spent forever cutting them. I don't have to cut any of this. I can, I put this planner together in like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And when I need new weeklies, I just print them, punch them, and I'm good to go in like two seconds. So... This was another layout that Scattered Squirrel has. And so you have Monday through Sunday going across. It's long columns that are all lined. 
um, except at the very bottom. She has the top three, a weekly focus, notes and lists, and then she has a separated kind of box down here at the bottom that's blank instead of lined. So up here, I think you can see, and I'm trying to keep some privacy but without covering everything with post-its, um, she has check boxes, and then she has a daily schedule that goes from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., which is kind of cool. I don't have, as you can see, I don't have a lot of timed events. I just have a lot of to-dos. And the fact that she didn't have something like this meant all of my to-dos got listed here, which made my list really long. And um, even to where I was writing them down into the scheduled area. So this wasn't my favorite. It wasn't too bad. And if I had a lot of appointments, I think this would be great. Um, but it just wasn't my favorite. I really like that um, grid tracker thing that she has. So that comes out because that's old. Then the next week, I went back to my grid because I really liked that grid line, uh, that grid layout. It just, I have a ton of room and because all these get squished down here, um, my days look a lot less packed. Also, this is very reminiscent for me of the success choice along the bottom where she has those bubbles that you bubble in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have a key below like like this could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then you bubble them in as you do them. It's very reminiscent for me, or that's how I'm using it. Um, and I like that because it's nice to be able to check off that I did my daily to-dos. Before I had a baby, I, had, I was super sharp. <laughs> now I'm a little dull and I don't remember everything. So I do need to have that reminder in front of me. So this is old and I'm gonna throw this away. And now we get to the current week where I thought I'm going to put some washi tape on it and be all fancy. Um, so I'm loving this down here and I love that I can use whatever I want. I've been using my Vanishing Point Raiden and it's so glittery and beautiful and sparkly. I can use whatever highlighters I want. I can use anything I want in here because it's single sided. It's whatever paper I want and it's awesome. So um, this is how I use it. I put my, if I know that I have timed events, I will just write them first when I'm doing my planning. And then I highlight, I underline them with the highlighter a certain color. So all my timed events across the week are that color. And I'll change it whatever week. I'm not color coding or anything like that. Then I either sometimes cross out what I finished or for a while I was, I was doing this, I was highlighting and in gray as I finish things, whatever I want to do. I can do whatever I want, it's my planner, right? So colors, highlighters, whatever. And so then I would list my to-dos for the day underneath. And then at the bottom, I would list my menu. And so with my menu, um, as I was getting used to everything, I would, I would write where I found that. So if it came from a certain cookbook, I would list that. Or if I had it printed on paper, I would list that as well. I'm more familiar now with my recipes. We started eating Mediterranean style, so it's been a little bit of a, a change. In the top three, I like to list how old my baby is, what zone I'm in as far as cleaning. And yeah, this is my layout and I love it. So I have room for notes over here, notes over here if I need it. And that's it. So I printed out my next week and I did my planning while he was taking a nap, which was amazing. You can see I now have a colored printer, so my layout is in color. This was, it, it comes in peach and green and you can't change it with this layout. And that's fine with me. It's kind of seasonal because it's, you know, peach and green, like orange and green for a pumpkin or something. So as you can see, I've got my timed events highlighted and I've got my to-dos that I know I'm gonna do so far there. I've written in the dates up at the top. I have an update on his age, what zone I'm in, and then my routine stuff, I've got it listed there. So that's what a, a spread would look like. I'll show you a couple other ones that I had printed out that I've not used and I just keep kind of pushing them back. This one I printed out and it's okay. It's got goals and you can see it. It's I don't remember where this came from. It's okay. I may or may not use it. I left it here because I printed it and I figured if I want to use it, it'll be there. If not, I can throw it away. This one's also from Scattered Squirrel. This, like I said, she has tons of layouts. She's got a top three weekly focus notes. Up at the top, there's a little blank with a plate and a fork and a knife or spoon for your dinner plan. And then it's just lined columns all the way across. This is something I might try, but I really like the one that I'm using. So I may or may not use this. 
Then I've got um, my November calendar. So again, the beauty of this system is I can keep myself from getting bored. I can use whatever layout I need to for that week. If I need to use dailies, I can use those. I can use weeklies. I can change them up with whatever I find. I can design my own. But as long as I have a dated monthly calendar, I'm fine because I write all of the things I have to remember on here. And then I populate my weekly calendars when I sit down to plan from the monthly calendar. So this is keeping track of things. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to drop an appointment or lose something because it's all here. And I can use whatever weeklies I want. My weeklies are undated. So like I've clipped some in insurance cards that we're going to start using in November up there. And then my December. And then I found, um, I don't remember where I found this, but it's from wherever that other planner page was that I couldn't remember where I found it. I'm terrible about that kind of thing. Um, I found this important dates list. And it wasn't dated, I just wrote 2019 up there. And I decided I'm gonna use this instead of like just a reminder of dates, I'm gonna use this as my forward planning calendar because I already have a few appointments going into 2019. So instead of list them on a post-it, I'm gonna list them on here. And then I'll list people's birthdays and things like that so I don't forget. So they give you one line per day for each month and it's numbered. And I just went through and I just filled out birthdays, appointments, anything that I knew, and I did it for all the way until December. And it didn't take up that much room, and it's super organized. So that's my calendar section. The next section I have is my cleaning section, my fly lady section. I cannot remember where I found this, but it's homemade cleaning recipes, and as I use up the cleaning products I have, I'm gonna replace them with these, I believe. This chore chart, I can't remember where I found it, but I'm not using it. I just kept it in here because I still have it. This is my tissue because I wipe off my dry erase marker from my zone cleaning. So this is all my Fly Lady stuff. And then the next section I have is just for note paper, and I have a few lists. This is my schedule for my baby. Let's check on him. He's still sleeping, still doing good. So, uh, just a few things. So this is where I would keep paper. I've got some meal plan stuff and things like that in there. The next section I just have some stretches and <coughs> the last section is just a divider but I have some post-its stuck to the last page or the the back cover of this rather and they just have information that is important that I need to keep at hand. So this is now my planner desktop book everything's everything all in one which is what I wanted and I keeping myself from getting bored because I'm reminding myself I can switch it up whenever I want but then something changed I removed all of the meal menu stuff from my planner because as we've been as I've been kind of building my repertoire of recipes and things in the Mediterranean cooking style um, I had just a bunch of printouts from the internet, just of recipes. And so I decided to make my own cookbook. So this is my cookbook. This was my cover from my art that I used as a teacher. And I usually keep this um, like on my kitchen counter or my table. Sometimes I keep it on my desk when I'm doing meal planning. So I just wanna walk this, walk you through this. So I had a bound book that I would tape recipes into or write recipes into that I was using. But the problem was is sometimes I would tape recipes in that just looked good that I wanted to try, but then we tried them and they were gross or we never tried them and it was in there. But I wanted to not have a bunch of loose papers around. So again, a three ring binder would work or something like this. Um, if you like this idea and you don't want to spend the money on the ARC system, you could get a three ring binder. So this is how I have this set up. Um, and I like this better because I can add and remove things as I want to try recipes and I print them out and if we try them we don't like them I can get rid of them and they're not stuck in a bound book but it's still nice and organized so I hope that made sense over here I just keep some printouts of my grocery list that I highlight and this I can't remember where I got this but I haven't used it <laughs> I just kept it in here because I did this was another thing I can't remember where I got this and there's no there's nothing listed at the bottom of the page otherwise I would tell you um, I was starting to use this but then I didn't need it uh, I made a list from a website that had 51 ways to make sardines and so I wrote down the ones that looked good for looked good to me So 
I have them here. I have a list of recipes that we've liked from cookbooks that are in on my Kindle and I've listed what page they're on so that I can see those when I'm menu planning and you know keep those in mind. Here's the information I have on the Mediterranean diet or style of eating or whatever. And then in this first divider, I keep the recipes that I'm gonna make for the week in here. So like I made this tonight and I've got recipes. So I'm either using this or I'm using the cookbooks on my Kindle. And so like this I'm making tomorrow, which is so good. And then I'll make this and then I'm gonna try another one. And so, so like these are the recipes I will make for this week if I have the paper version. At the end of the week, when I'm doing my meal planning or as I'm doing my meal planning, I'll add the new recipes I'm gonna cook in the back and I'll just take the old ones out. If we didn't like it, I will just throw that away. If we did like it, then I take it and I file it into the next section. And so this next section are recipes that, I've, that we've tried and we liked them. And so I just list them in alphabetical order. I'll put them in here and um, yeah. And so what I was doing, and I've kind of, I need to, to reorganize it a little bit better, but these were Mediterranean recipes. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. These are recipes that fit in with a Mediterranean style diet. Um, so these are recipes that we like. They fit in with the diet that we're, we're working, you know, that we're trying to, to stay on. And I hate, I hate to use the word diet because it's not really a diet. It's a style of eating. It's just, you know, cuisine. Um, so the recipes that we like go here so that when I'm meal planning, I can just flip through and see what looks good. The next section are recipes that are not necessarily in that, that cuisine, but these are recipes that I had in that bound book that I wanted to keep. And look at how few there are. Um, and that bound book was fat. So like, um, for example, I have just a bunch of overnight oatmeal recipes or my friend wrote out her mother's recipe for a dessert. Well, this is not Mediterranean style and I'm not gonna probably make it very often, but I wanna keep the recipe and I love that it's in my friend's handwriting. So I've just got some recipes in here like meatloaf, probably not, but my husband liked this meatloaf, so if I ever do make it again, I wanted to keep the recipe. Behind that, I have, these are printouts of things that I thought looked good that I would like for us to try or um, yeah I just want I printed them out but we haven't tried them yet so I haven't thrown them away or kept them they're just in the back kind of in the purgatory they're just holding there waiting for me to make a decision on them so this is my cookbook meal planning grocery list extraordinaire book that I love because it's dynamic it can change as we try and don't like or like things or want to use new things and I can always add bigger rings so I can um, have it bigger if I need to. So I love this for a recipe book and a three ring binder would do the exact same thing. And this is my planner that I am in love with once again because it will change at my, to, it will it will transform at my, at my whims, to my whims, with my whims, um, and I can make it whatever I want. That's what I just need to remember is change it if you're getting bored. Don't feel like you need to go to this or <laughs> this or this or this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I disciplined myself. I didn't buy a bunch of extra stuff. I spent the seven dollars on that unicorn planner, but uh, I got myself a colored printer, photo printer instead, which I was pretty excited about. I do have these little pocket planners, so if at any point, you know, I decide I'd like to do that or I need a portable calendar, I have one. But for now, I'm loving this. I hope you like it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will be get better about doing my comments, uh, replying to my comments now that my son is napping. And um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's check in with him one more time. There he is sleeping. I promise you he doesn't look that creepy in real life. It's this camera and it's the night vision on the camera that makes him look all creepy. He is adorable. I'm sure every parent says that. Thanks for watching um, and sticking with me, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.